Hey guys, so this is a three-part video series. If you haven't seen the first two videos, go watch those. The first one is about art. Uh, you can make art however you want to. Art is play, art is fun. It's about learning and self-improvement and growth. The second video is about that the first video is a lie, essentially, that art is not all about play and fun. It's about um, knowing the rules and then learning how to break them, and then you can be a good artist by study and practice. And this video is going to be reconciling those first two views because I think that, um, I do think that both those first two videos are true and I do think that they are contradictory to each other but they can also be reconciled. Yes, I do believe that art is play and you need that like freedom and if you want to be a good artist or you want to teach your kids to be an artist or you want anyone else to be an artist, you need to be in an environment of unrestricted play, experimentation, and just feel free to express yourself, feel free to make mistakes, feel free to make junky art, feel free to burn that art and record it and call that art. Feel free to do whatever you need to do to express your creative self. I absolutely agree with that, but I also agree that in order to do these things well, we can learn a lot. We can study art in, in school or in private lessons or on our own. We can read books, we can look at graphic design, we can look at images. There are so many images online that are just available to us that are well done art. And there's also a lot of cheesy stuff, which is the second video. <laughs> we can learn how to be a good artist. And it's not just talent. It's not just natural talent. It's work and practice and play and all these things combined to be a creative person. And I do think that like as, as we grow as artists, we need to maintain a healthy balance of the first video and the second video where we are free and we, we, we experiment and we play. But we also come back when we're curating a show and we have the craftsmanship skills and we have the material understanding to know that something's not going to flake off and break, unless that's a part of the concept. We need to know what we're doing and how to do it in a way that is aesthetically pleasing and interesting. And if we want to break the rules, like you can't really do a caricature if you don't understand a person. You can't really do a life drawing person where like the, the physical body is like skewed. You can't really do that without understanding the muscle structures and the bones and the rules of life drawing. So I think there absolutely are rules, but Combining the play with the rules is essential for being an art, like for being a successful artist. And that's, if you want to know more about successful artists, we can talk later. And so I think it's also important to have mentors and role models that can help us move forward and push forward in our art careers, in our art life, in our artists, all those things as well. I make videos every week, so be sure to subscribe. I do art, travel, and culture videos every week. I try to show you what's going on in my studio and answer your guys' questions about the arts. I, um, a lot of my art is based on travel and culture, and I... I'm a nerd about traveling and culture and languages and such things, and so my art reflects that, and my videos are a combination of those things. So subscribe for weekly videos, and I will see you guys around.